Uh, Blake, what episode are we on? Hello, welcome to Ask M. I am excited to be with you today. I have cut coffee, so this might be a little bit of a rough episode. This whole week has been a little rough, let's just say that. I have already cut coffee in my life, but I never have cut caffeine completely. And I didn't realize, I always thought that tea did not have caffeine in it. Like, I thought that in comparison to coffee, it really wasn't anything. And so I had a lot of green teas and mates and all these healthy alternatives to coffee. That's such bullshit, it's still caffeine and I was still highly addicted. So it's been about five days. My headaches are gone, but my mental capacity is not quite 100%. But this is kind of nice. This is my massive cup of tea and ghee today. You can blend herbal teas with ghee and it tastes really delicious. So I'm using a Yogi tea from Yogi Tahitian Vanilla Spice, and it's caffeine-free. And I blended it with a big chunk of Tin Star Foods ghee and a little bit of coconut milk. And look how delicious this looks. I don't know if that looks delicious to you, but it smells. Do you smell that, Blake? No. Oh. Right? Yeah, it's really nice. So I'm just figuring out other ways besides coffee. and. I'm gonna survive. Today is all about how to master the squat. Air squat turning into a back squat. I had someone ask me about getting lower in the squat without compromising form. And so I'm gonna put you through all my favorite stretches for your hips and basically what I do before my heavy squat days. And then I'm gonna show you what a good squat looks like without weight and then what a good squat looks like with weight. And hopefully you see that it's very important to mobilize before you do squats and it's also very important to be smart about your squats. If you are loading your squat without perfecting the air squat, you're only gonna hurt yourself. And it's you know a very simple move, we always do squats, but it's a kind of complex move when you think about it. So we're just really gonna spend the time and talk about the squat today. First thing I wanna do is show you the squat. So what I do with my squats and with my clients who have not squatted before, a lot of times I see people kind of squat they're usually here. So knees are shooting forward and they're not pushing their knees out. And the most, the biggest thing that I wanna break the habit of is they're stopping way before parallel or they're stopping at parallel. And the best way to use your posterior chain, which is your hamstrings and your glutes, is to work on driving your knees out. So maybe a little bit, toes out a little bit more than you're used to and driving your knees out as your hips go back first and you get into that below parallel position. So what I see a lot of times with CrossFitters is they're so worried about getting low that they compromise form. So it usually is like this. And so I'm gonna work on some stretches with you guys today to help that. Sometimes the butt wink comes from tight hamstrings. So as always, do hamstring stretches, but they take forever to actually loosen. There's a lot more going on than just hamstrings, but I'll start with that. So this is something you can do at home. Legs against the wall. And you can just hold here. This feels so good. So your legs are, they're not super flexed, but toes are pulled down, they're not pointed. And you can push into your heels a little bit. If you just held this for 10 minutes at home, it's actually very calming and it's supposed to be very therapeutic. It's one form of a inversion um, where your head is below your heart and that's always good for multiple benefits. So hold this here, this is really good. And then moving from that, move your butt off the wall a little bit and go into a figure four. So pull this foot in, so now I'm in an upside down four, making sure this toe is flexed. And then you don't have to go very far, but drop this leg down just a little bit and I really feel it in my glutes right here. I don't want you to be all the way up, so try to keep your butt down. So if you need to walk back more, you can and then hold here for about a minute, slide back up, and then rotate sides. So this is really great to open up those hips, which we all need extra hip love, I'm sure. 
So that's a fantastic start. From there, we also need to work on a little bit of ankle flexibility, which comes, which comes into play with a deep squat. So I like to use the pole and actually sit at the bottom of the squat all the way down. So I'm not holding like a wall sit. I'm literally kind of collapsed, but I'm in my heels. So sometimes it's really hard for people to get this low without their heels coming up. So if that's the case, push your, all your weight into one side if your heel's coming up and just hang out here. And so I'm working on that ankle flexibility. I should feel it on the back side and a little bit in my hips and then move to the left side and then move to the right side. I've seen variations where people actually put a band on here. I do that with one of my clients. So you put a band, a big thick band. Sorry, Blake. and you would step into it. <laughs> this looks crazy, I know. Uh, and then you can kind of squat down. So then it takes some more pressure off your hips and you can really just focus on mobility. So I don't feel as much of a leg burn. Now I can just focus on loosening up those ankles and those hips. You can hang out there for a while. Okay, and then the other ones, if you don't know it, is the foam rolling. So my favorite mobility that doesn't have to do with static stretching are the glutes. So one foot over, this is tight, <laughs> oh my God. Here, you'd hold for about a minute on each side. You would do your quads. And then the inner thighs. So right in that VMO. And you can go all the way up into the thick part of the ad adductor, that middle part of your leg. So I hold all three of those for about a minute. Isn't this foam roller so cute? Where can people get those on? <laughs> you can get these on my website, Blake, emilyshram.com or superherounleashed.com. It's very confusing. I have two websites right now, but soon that will change. So now how do we keep really good form with our squat without just kind of collapsing at the bottom? And you can start slow by using a pole, working on getting that depth right there and standing up, driving those knees out. In past Ask M videos, I've done a lot of glute activation and a lot of them you should do. So it's the one with the band around your knee and you do the glute bridges and bird dogs. Those are fantastic before squats and you can kind of feel that motion of driving your knees out when you have some more help and squeezing your butt at the top. But before you get to any weight on your back, you have to learn how to tuck your butt and squeeze your core before your squat. I see so many people just kind of like collapse and go through the motions. Take your time and really perfect the air squat where your chest is up high. If you need to do this, you can. Driving your knees out and standing. And if I pull my stomach in, really hard, I'm not gonna lose my butt at the bottom. So I'm not gonna collapse here. My lower back and my butt stay in that nice tight position. If you are having a hard time staying upright, so it's looking more, your squat's looking more like this. Your knees are going out, your butt's going back first, but you're kind of here. What we need to work on are your hips. And so couch stretch, is the best for this. Ooh. So hips are forward, my glutes are squeezed, and I'm just holding myself up. If this is too intense, which it probably will be if your squats are kind of making your back drop or your chest drop, then move your foot out just a little bit. So maybe start here and then slide up. And you can hold for a good minute on each side, but make sure stomach is tight and that your glutes are activated and you'll really feel it where you need to. So now as we move to the barbell, all the concepts, all the concepts of the air squat apply. So my hips have to go back first, my chest has to stay up. Let's get and I try to find, you know, every person has a different body. So I can't say that it's right outside of shoulders. Some people do have to go a little wider and some people do better a little narrower. So you have to go wherever feels comfortable for you. 
but it's usually a little bit right outside of your shoulders. Grab not too wide um, with your upper body and utilize this barbell so it's not just hanging out on your back. I didn't even talk about where to put it on your back. So can you come in a little closer? So what I don't want to see is it up on your spine. It's actually in your shoulder blades. Kind of, I mean, I'm lucky because I have a lot of traps. So I have a nice cushion. You can always put a towel there if it's very uncomfortable. So from there, chest is up. I take a big breath in. And breathe at the top. You never breathe in the movement. So if I'm breathing at the bottom of my squat, then I'm gonna change my spine's position. And that's a no-go. So again, big breath in. And utilize this barbell, like I said earlier, by as I'm coming up, I pull down on it. And so I'm activating my lats, which will keep my chest up a little bit more. So the biggest thing with squats, make sure that you're mobile. So work on, for a good 10 minutes before you do squats, work on your hip flexors, work on activating your glutes, do some leg swings, use the stretches I showed you. It makes a huge difference when it comes to your flexibility in the squat. And make sure you take your time with it because you could do heavy weight and have shitty form, but it will not give you any benefit in the long run. So take your time with it. Learn how to get really tight with just the air squat and that'll, that'll really play into when you start doing barbell back squats. It's really awesome to do barbell back squats and I program them at least once a week for all my clients, for myself. I also do other variations of squats, like overhead squats and front squats. If you guys are interested in those, then you can just always hashtag ask M and keep asking questions about certain moves that you wanna see. The strength training has completely changed my body and in all the best kind of ways. It made my core very strong. It made my legs lean out. It got rid of some cellulite. I can't emphasize it enough. So wherever you are, barbell gym, not a barbell gym, a 24 hour fitness, try to get your hands on a barbell and keep asking questions about barbell, hashtag ask M, and I will answer them with my friend Blake from Gorilla Capturing. You guys are awesome. See you next time.